Hi everyone. You see the title of this video. Um, I'm not even going to do the intro. You know what we talk about: Yankees, Mets, Giants, whatever. I'm not. I'm not doing this stupid intro today. I'm not doing it. So today was obviously the MLB trading deadline. <laughs> I see. I, I have to take it slow here. I can't even get these words out. It's August 1st. The New York Yankees. The, the New York Yankees have been a joke this year. And I don't care if they're over 500. I don't, I really don't care. They're done. Season's over. I wanted them to at least try to sell a few pieces, try to get some prospects like the Mets, which we'll get to later in the video. The Mets had a good trade deadline in terms of getting a lot of good prospects. But the New York Yankees did absolutely nothing except at the last minute trade for a reliever. Yeah, folks. So also, just a note here, Judge is dealing with some soreness in his toe. In my opinion, I'm just going to say this on Judge right now. Rest him for the rest of the season and get ready for 2024 because this year is over. It's over. I, I, I'm just so defeated right now. And I am, I've been saying fire Brian Cashman and fire Aaron Boone forever. I've been saying it forever now. But this is the final straw. This is the final straw. Here, you, you here. Let's let's read a quote. Let's let's read a quote real quick. Here, hold on. Here we go. So this was um after Sunday's game when they got embarrassed on national television, when Severino gave up like six or seven runs before even getting an out. Here, let's read this quote. Aaron Boone on the offense. Outside of the strikeouts, I thought at bats were building off of last night. I thought we grinded out really well. Made it really tough on Kramer. We couldn't finish it off. The Yankees struck out 18 times. Do I need bifocals to see what the hell Aaron Boone is seeing? What the hell are we? Oh. Can you calm down? Can you calm down? Can you calm down? I, I have just about had it with Aaron Boone. You, I'm tired of the BS. He's always BSing. He's always BSing. It's always BSing. And also, there's some news about um, Brian Cashman in the trade deadline. Let me find. Okay, here we go. The Yankees have been frustrating this deadline, a rival exec said, who got the sense that they were in between land waiting to be bowled over for their rentals. Well, guess what, Brian? Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Cashman probably set the prices too high and no one wanted to talk to him. And instead, you get a guy who has a five ERA over the last four years, who's a bullpen piece, and he's a rental. A rental. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Like I said, shut down Aaron Judge for the year. It's over. It's over. You see that? Tyler Glass now kicked our ass yesterday. I'm sick and tired of the New York Yankees. This is a toxic relationship that I can't get out of. I can't get out of it. I'm not going to break up with them because I'm not going to do it. But they're going to keep torturing me. This is one of the worst Yankee seasons I have seen in my 16 years of life. I know some of you have probably seen the 80s. Yeah, it was really bad then. But the Yankees haven't got to the World Series since 2009. This team is going to be stuck in freaking purgatory. I, I, I'm done. I'm done. Cashman and Boone, and even if they even if they fire Boone, as long as Cashman's GM. As long as the ha the ha and Hal still has his head up his ass, this team is not going to another World Series. They're not. It's done. They are done. And guess what? I read an article this morning. Guess what? Guess what the news is? If the Yankees don't miss, if the Yankees do miss the playoffs, there's no, there's going to be no significant changes. Cashman staying, Boone is staying. And guess what? 
the fans at the game more than, like probably more than half the fans at the games pr- pr- probably don't even know that the Yankees didn't do anything this trade deadline and they're still going to go go to the game see them lose against Tampa cheer blah 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 nothing is going to change it's not going to change get used to it folks because the Yankees are done i'm going to say this you're not going to see the Yankees win a world series i'll say when because who knows maybe Brian Cashman somehow isn't the gm in the late um you know like in the later years but in the 20 in the 2020s the yankees will not win a world series they will not win a world series Roger, let's let's go with the Mets the Mets trades and their prospects i i'm i'm done talking about the yankees for the rest of the year i'm done and I don't care. I do not care if they're three and a half back. I don't care. This season is over. It's over. If they're they're going to lose a series against Tampa. Then they got Houston for four games. Put me out of my misery, Houston. Sweep us. Sweep us. So I don't have to watch this damn team anymore. All right, Roderick, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead. Let's go. All right. That was, that was impressive. It was, it was a good good six and a half minutes by you right there. All right. So the Mets made, let's say, six or seven significant significant trades. The main one obviously being Justin Verlin and back to Houston. They got two prospects for him, the Astros first ranked prospect and the Astros fourth ranked prospect. It's a pretty good trade. Like you're getting a guy who's 40 and is owed $80 million over the next two years, and you got two top four prospects, albeit they're not the greatest, but it's still really good. You also have the Scherzer trade, which is an absolute steal in my mind. Like, you get you get a guy like Acuna, which is supposed to be a bona fide superstar when he comes up, and his own brother has said, like, he's more advanced to me than I was at his age. So, you know what that tells you. And that's, that's going to be a – when we look back on it in five years, that's going to be an insane deal that happened. You also have um, Tommy Pham to Arizona and Mark Cannon to Milwaukee. Some smaller stuff, but still unloading these guys who are friends at the end of the year, which is always good. And then recently, like just before we started recording this, we traded Dominic Leon to the Angels for a top 10 prospect, which is insane that we got anything good for him. But the Angels are kind of stupid, so... And he also got Phil Bickford and Adam Kolarik for cash from the Dodgers. So, like, all in all, successful trade deadline. I wasn't going to rant, but I don't have the voice for that. Um, it's just a good deadline, all in all. Okay. Um, yeah. And we also we saw the news that um, the Mets – so, basically, all in all, if the Mets don't sign Shohei Otani, it's looking like it's going to be a year in 2024 – where the Mets are going to be playing some of these young guys at the top. Ronnie Mauricio should already be on his team. I don't know what the Mets are doing there. I think he will be, given some of these trades that they made. And Steve Cohen, Steve Cohen's going down to Kansas City, right? Yeah, he's going to Kansas City right now. Okay, so he's probably going to go tell, tell the team the new direction for the rest of the year, possibly heading into 2024. And I hope, I, I hope Ronnie Mauricio's up. Please. There's there's absolutely no excuse for him to not be here at this point. Absolutely no excuse. You know, you traded um Tommy Fam, that opens up a spot. You know, who are some of the, you know, who are some pitchers that you can see um getting called up with, you know? You got the Facel guy. He's a lefty. I think he's he's all right. <clears throat> who else? Yeah, because you've got that. some rotation yeah. spots to fill. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, probably Tyler McGill gets called back up, and probably it's a lock. Probably move Peterson back into the rotation, stuff like that. I mean, these, are, these are still young guys, right? They still have potential, so it's like you bring them back into the fold for a month or two, see what they have, and go from there. Yeah, and you you told me you were saying, oh, the Mets can possibly, you know, get back in the thick of things. Clearly, they. <laughs> <laughs> they, I, I, I like the hope because, quite frankly, I, you know, the Yankees who are technically further than the Mets, I don't have hope for them at all. I, I, it's, I'm just done. So, do you have anything else? Did you go over the Mark Canna trade and stuff? 
Oh yeah, I, I glossed over that because we didn't get anything crazy for it and it also wasn't like that big of a deal. But yeah. All right, is that it, Roderick? It's a successful trade deadline. I, like, I give it an A. I don't know what Russell will give the Yankees trade deadline. Probably oh. A, 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 a Z minus, but. Yeah, yeah. they get a Z. Z. Okay, yeah. Let, I'll talk about it a, a tiny a tiny smidge more because here, this is what I'm going to say. Our next video will not be a Yankee Met video. I don't know when the next time we'll be doing uh, the Mets or no, we will not be talking about the Mets at all. The Yankees are close, so let's say let's say miraculously, if there is a bit there, there's a big chance that there is a Yankee video. Probably they'll let's say they get even worse, there'll probably be another video, and then I'm gonna end it there. But we're gonna go into training camp stuff. We're gonna do some Giants and Jets training camp. Um, because quite frankly, I am sick and tired of this baseball season. I and I cannot believe that both of us are saying that because coming into this year with the top two, um, you know, the top two payrolls in baseball and one is, one is selling at the trade deadline. One should be selling at the trade deadline, but didn't do anything except trade for a reliever who's at a five ERA over four years. But I digress. I just, this is a disaster. Like I said, in the previous Max Scherzer video, the Mets went from, you know, having their own commercial in the Super Bowl to selling at the trade deadline. That's sad within itself. Then you go from the Yankees, who Brian Cashman swore. He swore to you that he was going to upgrade left field. How does getting Carlos Rodon upgrade the offense? Pitching was not the problem. And I'm not, and I'm not saying, like, I'm not blasting the Rodon signing. But you didn't trade for a guy. You didn't sign a guy. And left field has been an issue for years now. It's been an issue for years. And also, John Boy brought this up in um, his one of his previous uh, videos on, top, on Talking Yanks. The Yankees have been going away from left-handed hitting for whatever reason. He compared it to the uh, 2009 um, team. He said we had, like, like, what, three or four switch hitters, two lefties. We know what happened that year. Why are the Yankees going away from lefties and switch hitters? Where are the lefties? Where are the good lefties? Anthony Rizzo has been awful ever since his back injury. He's been awful. What? What are we? Who else are we going to talk about? Jake Bowers, Greg Allen. Who are these guys? You were supposed to address the outfield. And also, in terms of selling, since if someone's going to ask, oh, RJ, what pieces could they have possibly sold off? Trade Glaber. I know he's been, you know, one of the best Yankee players, as some have said. He's been league average. Same thing with Bader. Some people are like, oh, you can't trade Bader. He's one of our better players. He's also been league average. So this is this is where we're at with the New York Yankees. This is where we're at. Guys are league average. And we're, you know, th these are our best guys. Shut Judge down for the rest of the season because it is over. I don't care. I don't care where they're at in the wild card because they are done and they are not catching the teams ahead of them. And if they miraculously do, they will be eliminated in the wild card. <sighs> okay. Um, Roderick, anything else you want to say before I end this video? <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, Mets in seven years. Um, if you can all do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. <sighs> I Leave a comment, too. Give me either your frustrations or your excitement for the Mets prospects. The Yankees, the, the Mets are done. The Mets are done this year. The Yankees, I say the Yankees are done this year, but we're going to be doing training camp next. I probably on like Friday or Saturday, whenever, but I am just, I'm, I'm flab. I, I, I'm at a loss for words with the trade deadline. I'm at a loss for words.
because all the people that swore to me Cashman was still a good GM. I just don't see. There's people now that were saying that they can't even defend him anymore because what is this team doing? And same thing with Aaron Boone. Do I need bifocals to see whatever the hell you're seeing? Because what are you talking about with the Yankee offense? You saw some some good things when they struck out 18 damn times. What the hell are you talking about? Well, see you, everyone. We're we're not. I'm not doing. You know the. Sorry for not doing. Welcome to Planet of NY Sports. Here we talk Yankees, Mets, Giants, just a little bit of the Knicks and Nets. Yeah. No. No. I I, I don't even know if I want to do that in the next video. You know what? In fact, this is what we're gonna do. This is what the intro is gonna be for the next video. Welcome everyone. Here we talk Giants, Jets, and a little bit of the Knicks and Nets because we're not talking Yankees Mets anymore. Have a good